It was on the 26th of April, 1986, when a routine test at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant resulted in the meltdown of reactor number four. And 30 years on, Chernobyl still presents challenges, still presents risks, and in many ways, they're just as urgent. Take the problem of spent nuclear fuel from the rest of Chernobyl's units. A total of 21,000 used fuel assemblies. That's the legacy of running the power plant until it was agreed on safety grounds to close the remaining reactors. We're now at the Chernobyl nuclear site. The specific location is the spent fuel storage facility. Behind me is the storage modules where the fuel will be stored. And in the background behind me is the large processing facility that will treat the fuel before storage. Work is now at an advanced stage, but there's a good deal left to do. ISF2, as the facility is called, is a unique engineering project that comes with its own special challenges, demanding time, money and expertise. Uh, particularly, it's an extensive amount of concrete, very thick walls in many locations. In this building, we have uh, walls that are over a meter thick and they're clad in stainless steel. Uh, in other locations, we use lead cladding as well. Um, it's basically a lot of concrete for, for the nuclear construction such as this. Once the facility is complete, it will be the largest of its kind in the world. And spent fuel remains highly radioactive, so it can only be handled remotely. Designing and constructing such a building is a huge engineering achievement. The fuel will be transported to it by train. But that's just one step of many. The fuel assemblies will then be cut, packaged in double-walled canisters, prior to being dried out by a unique hot gas system. And then they'll be stored in these brand new, purpose-built modules. So why does this matter so much? Currently the fuel is stored in ISF-1, which is a fuel pool storage facility. We need to remove that fuel because the pool has reached its design life. And this is the important bit. There's nowhere else to locate the fuel safely. Fuel from RBMK reactors, like Chernobyl, cannot be disposed of elsewhere. Meanwhile, each day the fuel assemblies deteriorate further. The ISF2 facility for spent fuel in Chernobyl is vitally important for safety. Uh, what we have at this point of time in the Chernobyl site is an old, aging, dilapidating storage facility. Condition of this fuel is bad. We have had problems finding designs to deal with this kind of fuel, with cracks developing in metals after after years and years spent in this water storage. This is an essential safety project. I mean, this is storing, as I mentioned, 21,000 assemblies safely for a period of at least 100 years. So without this facility, Chernobyl, Ukraine, doesn't have a long-term, even a medium-term solution for this fuel. So there's an urgent need to complete the project. But that will require important decisions to be made. Not just by the EBRD and Ukraine, but by the international community. If funding dries up, the almost half a billion euros already invested in the project, from the bank and from donors, cannot be retrieved. But it's not just about money. The consequence will be that the existing facility which is not upgradable and would have to be left as it is, loaded with fuel and creating an enormous nuclear safety risk. What happened three decades ago at Chernobyl cannot be undone, but we can continue to work together to manage and mitigate the consequences, and by so doing, still further minimize the risk of there ever being another radioactive accident here.